Hello, welcome, and thank you again for visiting my YouTube channel, Hell on Rikers Island. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year's to all the families and everybody out there. So today, right now, this video is going to be about how we was getting tobacco smuggled in in the full building, RMDC, in the adolescents on the school floor at school so yeah we was in um a certain side of the building for the adolescents go to one school and then the other side of the building for the adolescents go to a whole nother school on the other side of the building somewhere so the school floor that i happened to be on was um the main school floor which is on the visiting floor so you got to walk up some steps and once we get to the top you need to go right, that's the school floor, and then to the left is the visit floor, you feel me? So, you know, niggas is getting visits while you're in school, they call you out for visits, the early visits, on the, um, certain days. So, we had a teacher, right? Some Indian Arabic nigga. I ain't know his real name, everybody used to call him Birdie or Birdass. If you know, you know. If you was there 2005, six, seven, eight, probably even nine. I don't, I left the adolescence in, I think, I wanna say 2008. So I didn't really hear much about it after that. But them earlier years that I mentioned, if you know, you know Birdie, AKA Birdass on the main school floor. So once niggas told me he was doing that, I was on his ass. Like, you feel me? Niggas need to smoke, niggas need tobacco, niggas need to make money, niggas need to make, you know, do their ones and twos. Cause sometimes you might get fucked up. Sometimes your people can't come through when they say they come through with that money or that package or whatever. So you might, you know what I'm saying, you gotta turn into a wolf. So yeah, Birdie, he was the he was a school teacher. Regular civilian, wore regular civilian clothes. So we used to go to the school floor, and what we used to do is, we used to trade him our clothes. Back then, like I said in previous videos, we was able to wear street clothes, street sneakers, street jewelry, anything on Rikers Island back then. So, you know me, I, I was good. I had, you know, wifey was holding me down. I had all type of feet, all type of jeans. Back then, you could wear, um, Adidas, Shell Toes, the Stan Smiths, you could wear the um, Reeboks, um, the Reverse Jam shits, you could wear the Crazy Eights, the Kobe Bryant shits. Um, some niggas had designer shoes. I mean, depending, ACGs, whatever. You know what I mean? So, what I used to do is, I had about six, seven pair of sneakers. I used to clean them up, old ones, you feel me? Clean up the white laces of the Shell Toes, the, the whole sneaker, clean them up take them to the school floor, boom. Get a nigga birdie up here, crispy shells. Boom, he come around with his little push cart, throw them in a the bucket, boom. When the CO not looking, or the CO get up to move, he throwing me the whole pouch with the with the matches, the rolling paper, all that. Either that or it's a whole pack of Newport 100s. He got stuffed in a glove, the five fingers of a glove. Feel me? Boom. That's how I went, niggas was, niggas was, well, me personally, I don't know what other niggas was doing. I know what I was doing. I was giving him belts. I was giving him T-shirts. I was giving him jeans. And what he was doing with them was sending them back to his country for, you know, the kids, the poor kids in India, which is, I mean, I ain't really, shit, he, he doing something good, at least. I mean, he doing something bad, smuggling tobacco and all that, but for the cause is something good. So I, I ain't, I really didn't care. I'm an inmate, I ain't give a fuck, you know what I mean? So I'm going back to the house, locking in for, the, you know what I mean? Going in my cell, throwing my curtain up, block my cell door, you feel me? Light up a stogie. Nigga feel like he getting high off a stogie. That's how long a nigga ain't smoke a cigarette. So nigga getting lightheaded, about to throw up in the cell, all that, you know what I mean? And that's, that's, that's just, you know, a quick little, story of how we how one way of how we used to get the tobacco in you feel me smuggling through the fucking school main floor from the fucking outside civilian teacher 
It's the type of shit that was going on when I was there. Plus, we had the COs bringing this shit, you no know, Chinese food, sandwiches, all type of shit that you're not allowed to get while you on Rikers Island. Outside shit, you know, certain type of toothpastes, soaps, shampoos, all type of stuff. You no, know? but yeah, that's how we used to do it. So, I mean, I don't think he ever got caught either. He, he, he was doing that shit before I got there and probably even after I left. So I never heard of anything of him getting caught. He probably retired or quit and found a better job or something. But God bless that man, Birdie, a.k.a. Birdass. Wherever you are in this world, you ever run across this video, I appreciate you, my brother. He used to always be joking around with all the kids. You know what I'm saying? All the adolescents, everybody playing around. He was a cool dude. Especially he was bringing in tobacco. But yeah, that was just a little quick video of how we was getting tobacco. You know what I mean? Hit that subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed. Like, share, comment. Hit that bell notification also so you get the, all the new updated videos I drop. I got another video coming soon of how we used to eat on Rikers Island. How, like what type of meals we used to make. The type of foods and the fishes we used to use and all that. I'm going to chef it up. Something crazy. That shit used to be banging. How niggas used to make burritos. And, you know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to I'm 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 drop another video real soon. So, y'all just stay tuned. Make sure y'all hit all them, them buttons. You know what I mean? So, y'all can stay posted and know what's going on. Keep y'all updated about Hell on Rikers Island. I lived it. I've been there many times. There's no place for nobody to be. It's out of control. It's violence. It's, you know, it's everything illegal going on there that's not supposed to be going on. So stay tuned. Appreciate the love. Thank you to all my supporters. Peace.